Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today we are going to do a DIY make your own scented candles all from Dollar Tree products. Now I have some non Dollar Tree products that I'm going to use but everything in here can be made with items from the Dollar Tree. How exciting. But before we get into that, I just wanted to share with you, I've got a new product I've been trying. It's from Teamy Brand, um, and we have partnered with this, so they did send me this for free. Just want to put that out there, but my opinions are my own. Um, I chose the Detox, but they do have lots of other products. Um, that I know there's some powders to mix in with some drinks. They've got some beauty products. Um, but everything that I've read about them and have seen online is they're a very clean company. Um, the ingredients are, you know, there's not a lot of chemicals. This is strictly tea. It's called, this is called Skinny. And I'm telling you, I feel more energized. I drink a cup of it every day. And I've been feeling great. And then part of the detox also comes with a colon cleanse tea that I drink every other evening. So between the two, I've been feeling pretty good. So um, there is a coupon code for 25% off in the description box below. Just click the link and you can try this product too if you'd be interested. Um, my package came with this cup, which is a tea infuser. It came with the tea. This is loose leaf. The colon comes in bags and uh, a tea strainer if you want to just put it in here. So that is what I've got for you today, but let's get started on making some candles, shall we? All right, so the items that I am using, I have some vessels. Now this is actually an old candle. It's not quite as big as a Bath and Body, but it is a larger three wick candle. I just cleared out the wax and we're gonna reuse that. Um, from the Dollar Tree, I grabbed this votive and I just spray painted a little copper to go on the bottom, but this was just from the Dollar Tree. Here I have a little mason jar and the wick I got from the Dollar Tree. Um, this is also a good shape from the Dollar Tree. And I have this, which comes from the kitchen section and I spray painted the top copper. It comes in like a silver color. I'm not gonna use all of these, but these are the items I have. Um, I think I'm gonna need some kitchen skewers, some clothespins maybe. Um, hot glue to hold your wick in place. Potentially some painter's tape. We'll see what we end up using. A little knife, and actually this did come from the Dollar Tree. And you can use these little unscented pillars. And I actually dug out the wick from the bottom. And then you can melt this, melt this wax. Um, but what I did is I wanted this wick. You can also just buy wicks. That's not a problem. And then back here, you won't be able to see, but I have, let's see if I can get that in the shot here. Let's take a look. Some of these, uh, I think they're called emergency candles. I'm not really sure what their the official name of them are, but I have them in a big pot of water. The water is on medium and I wouldn't go any higher than that. You can put a towel at the bottom if you're a little car, you know, nervous about putting glass but I'm not having any issues. It's almost fully melted. So once this wax melts, I can take out the wick and reuse the wick in these candles. And then I'm gonna use my fragrances. So I have three options today. One, it's just the lavender oil. This comes from the Dollar Tree. It doesn't have the best scent, but there's definitely a scent. It is pure lavender. And then there's some, um, sweet almond oil in here as the carrier. So you can definitely use that. I would say this is a one, oh, 0.27 fluid ounce. I'd probably use one or two of these if you're trying to get a scent in a small candle like that. You can buy, this is fragrance oil. I got this from Nature Made, I think. I don't know, Nature's Own, Nature something or other. They come in one ounce bottles. Um, industry standard says that per pound of wax, you would use a half an ounce. So a half a bottle of this. I'm not using quite a pound, but we'll see. Um, you can obviously make it stronger or lighter depending. This is Aloha. It's like a coconutty scent. I also got this Yay for Yummy. Um, this is a, I think a floral 
yeah, it's definitely a floral scent. These are both summery scents. Um, so I'm going to try those. And then I have essential oils. Now the essential oils, these are from Simply Earth. I get a subscription box. And then this is a blend I made up myself. Um, and I love it. It's called Spa Day or Salon Day. And I love this. So I can, I'm going to put some drops of essential oil in one of these and see how that works. So that's my fragrances. You can use any of these or none of these if you just want to make plain candles. Now I'm making mine white, but if you wanted to, you could throw crayons in with your wax and let those melt and they would color your candle wax for sure. Now let me change directions. I'm going to show you how I attach my wick. One second. All right. Now this one here, what I did at the bottom is I took those reusable dots from the Dollar Tree. They are sticky dots. And I just put one in there. All you're trying to do is hold your wick straight so that a candle burns correctly. And then I clicked it with a clothespin or peg, however you call it. And then I just make sure it's straight up. Now for this one, we're gonna try we're gonna do hot glue. What I would probably say, you just wanna make sure it's straight. And then I'm just gonna take a little dollop of the hot glue on the bottom. And again, it doesn't really matter how much. And we're gonna go straight in to this jar. You really wanna center it. Yeah. I'll let that dry completely and cool. And then I will take my clothes pin or these are a little short but you can also attach two skewers tape them together and then when you fill it with wax you just make sure it's right in the center you don't even have to tape it you just want to make sure your wick stays straight but right now I'm letting that dry and cool off and set um, I'm going to only make three candles so I'm kind of getting rid of this other stuff if you choose to go this route and pull the wick out of the bottom, you can really remelt this anyway. You can put it in the microwave. I would recommend buying a disposable, like maybe a thrift store pan if you're going to do it on the stove or double boiler. But I wouldn't use your kitchen pots and pans to um, melt wax. It will ruin them. And they also sell candle making supplies. All right, so we're going to have to hang tight. This is not completely melted yet back here. And then I'll show you what I do and how I pull the wick. All right, friends. Our wax is all melted. So, oopsies. I'm fishing out here. And you definitely want to be careful, especially if you're using like a kitchen pot, which I am. I don't want to get wax in it. So I'm fishing out the wick. Now, like I said, you could totally go on Amazon and purchase wicks or at the craft store or whatever. But I just felt like this, ooh, sorry, this was cheaper to just get some of these emergency candles or whatever they're called. I still don't know what they're called. And I'm just laying these out on a piece of uh, paper towel to get some of the excess wax off. Oops. This one, we lost the metal bottom to. There it is. But that's okay. I don't need that one. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to bring you back over on the other side, and we're going to add our, our fragrance. A couple things you want to make sure. Dry your candle and have a hot pad. Okay. I'm gonna pour this into this jar here, but first I wanna fragrance it. And we're gonna make this one Salon Day. I'm not, oh, I love it. That's where these skewers are gonna come in. I'm just gonna drop a few drops in there. And it's all about what smells good to you. Mm, a little more. Now, the one thing with essential oils, sometimes the flavor or the scent doesn't hold up as well as the fragrance oils. Um, but when you're melting your candle, you can always add a couple more drops. Now that is very warm, just so you'll know. I'm just gonna take this and pour it 
into this jar. And that's as high up as I'm going to let that go. Right? Because I feel like that. Oh, I guess I could top it off. But that is what it. Oh, too high. Now these have to sit for some time. And these jars can be reused too. Nice. Make some vases or something out of them. But I'm gonna move this candle over under my stove top and just let it sit. Ooh. Okay. So that candle is complete. Over here, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna do the smaller one actually next. And this candle, I'm gonna flavor or scent it with the bath or the what is this dollar tree lavender i'm just pouring it all in here these jars are great to reuse too now Again, you just want to make sure you don't want to get water into your wax. And then I'm going to pour this. In there. Take my skewer. And just kind of mix it up. Oops. Now the one thing we want to do. Is just try to get that straight or even easier take two skewers we're gonna tape them together and then we're gonna set this straight and the only reason I'm taping them together is to hold them you know in place so it stays straight you just really want this to burn even there we go And that's done. There's a little wax on the outside over here, so I'll just take my knife and clean it off, but it's fine. And that one is complete. Now the last one. I'm gonna take my three wicks. Now these wicks are not super strong, like thick, but that's okay. We just wanna get them in the jar so you can see I'm just gonna put a block a fair amount of uh, hot glue I'm going right over where they were before where the other wax what or the other wicks were at in this candle okay I've got one in there that in there and that's why these skewers come in so handy this is hot I'm not sticking my fingers down in there to hold that in place I can tell you that <laughs> so it's just great to have the hot glue and plug it stick it down in there We're gonna let that set up for a second, but while that is happening, I'm gonna pull my two jars out. The tops of these are not hot, it's the um it's down here where it's hot. So I'm just pulling those out. This is gonna take both of these and maybe a third, but for now we'll just call it these two. You know what? Let's get crazy, shall we? And I'm gonna chop this up and melt it so I have some extra wax. Last step. I've got my one ounce of Aloha. I've decided I'm splitting it between the two. 
What I did is I cut up the um, other wax and added it to these, so hopefully it'll be enough. I took my skewers and I have my wicks pretty straight. We'll fix them once I've mixed. So I'm shaking up my scent. I'm going to put half and half. And it doesn't have to be exact. I just want to make sure that we're, you know, getting an even distribution of the fragrance oils. And these fragrance oils weren't too bad. This was like $2.79, I think. So if it works, which I'm sure it will, my $25 Bath and Body Works candle will be made for, you know, a couple dollars, which would make me happy. Okay. And it doesn't matter if you get wax on the skewers, we're gonna to be tossing those away. Oh, apparently I didn't need all of this. Extra wax. But we'll just do that up to the top. So I had, I didn't need to, to melt the other. I will keep this when I get another wick. I will melt it and I will put it in another candle. Now, I'm not moving these guys around. They're just gonna be right where they're at. This I'll keep, that I will not. I'll clean up my mess, and these are gonna take several hours to set. And then once everybody has been set up, I will come back and we will light them and see how they work out. All right, everybody, here's the finished product. Um, this is the one that I used the fragrance oils in. And if you notice, they do sink down in the middle, which is fine. And my finger went in that one. <laughs> Here's the one I did with copper. And I believe this one has the uh, essential oil Salon Day in it. But I just love the copper. This one, no, this one is lavender. This one has the, I don't know. Yeah, this one has Salon Day in it. And then instead of uh, melting that other candle, I took some silicone cupcake liners and I just made little um, melts for my um, tart burner with the leftover. And this is the uh, coconut Hawaiian scent. And look, gifting Christmas, guys. I just made a bunch of them, put them in my little jar with the lid. You could tie a bow around it, label what it is. And that would be a perfect gift. Give somebody a tart warmer and some tarts. So that is it. I took some DIY candles and turned them in to some upscale-ish, smelly, delicious, yummy candles. I hope that helps. Have a good one. Bye.